You know, one of the really exciting things about LLMs is how fast they make experimentation. The, the gap between idea and getting something done is really quick. And I lived that out last night. I was able to take an idea, a concept, and get it into something actionable within 15 minutes. And I'm going to share it with you here. So one of the things that I've really struggled with is keeping track of all these interesting links that I find around the web and reading them, digesting them, really understanding them. Part of it is a time issue. Part of it is being able to get myself into the language and the context of the person writing the piece, which is very different around the web. I, I get academic papers, I get blog posts, and I have to sort of context switch from whatever I'm doing. Maybe it's a meeting, maybe it's writing something, and then get into reading mode and really understand it. And then it's only one source. All of that to say, I don't read as many of my bookmarks as I want to, and I'll bet that's true for you as well. So Notebook LM is a free tool that Google released just a couple of weeks ago, and it is fascinating to me because it makes it possible to take all of those sources and bring them together and generate a podcast that sounds very believable about a, any collection of sources you want. You can throw anything at it that you like, and it will generate a podcast about it. And I found it super helpful because it helps me to sort of get through a collection of sources and get the TLDR. And yes, I can still dive in. I have all of those sources. They're actually logged right in the notebook. I can converse with the sources so I can dive deeper. But the podcast makes sure that I don't miss the general concept I'm looking to explore. But I realized that this tool is not really shareable right now. So a notebook as is currently exists is not something I can share to the web. It's not something where I can take the little podcast they create and share that either. It just generates a WAV file. And I don't want that to be the case. One of the things I've really struggled with is how to convey efficiently some of the advanced concepts that I talk about for AI, for LLMs, and that I sometimes get comments here on YouTube or on my TikTok asking me to explain. And so I could do a TikTok on what is latent space, but those tend to, don't tend to get a lot of views, to be honest with you, because it appeals to a very specific audience. So why not make an AI-generated podcast in a notebook on latent space and find a way to share it? That was my idea. And it took me 10 minutes, and I got a Spotify podcast up and going. Uh, I'll put the link down here under the YouTube. And it's not going to be my voice. I don't pretend it's my voice. It's an AI generated voice that actually sounds very human, just kicking it back and forth between two or three AI voices talking about a particular subject. And I'm going to be selecting the subjects. I'm going to be feeding it sources and sort of shaping the content. And it becomes a notebook. And that's why I called it Nate's Notebook. And it becomes a way for me to share some of these complex concepts with the folks who are listening to my content here on YouTube or on TikTok. And it's easy to follow, it's easy to understand, it's asynchronous, they can dig in whenever they want. And so I just threw it up there. We'll see what happens, I don't know. It might not be successful, but it was 10 minutes of work and it's helpful for me anyway to be able to have a place to link folks to when they have questions like that. And also to be able to shape future podcast episodes to the questions that people have, because this space continues to emerge and grow. So all of that to say, one of my favorite, favorite things right now about LLMs is how fast it is to experiment. And I think it's great that I was able to put together a cutting edge tool like Notebook LM with a very traditional tool like Spotify Podcasts and get something out there really quickly. And that's one of those sort of workflows that I will be talking about a lot more in the Maven course that I have coming. I actually have a lightning lesson coming uh, on Thursday, October 3rd. So it's a two days from the recording date here. And that's free. It's 30 minutes. We're going to dive into a different workflow that I found really fun um, that I created specifically for this lightning lesson. So you haven't heard about it elsewhere. And I think you I think you'll like it. I think it'll be very fun and, and exciting. So if you're interested, if you'd like to learn more about advanced models, if you'd like to try out sort of what it looks like to have AI sort of drive a workflow and shape your day to day work a little bit, we'll have a teaser trailer of that in the 30 minute time, time we have together. Um, and I'll be diving much more deeply into all of that um, for product managers, for engineers, and for non-technical folks, folks like account execs, uh, C-suite leaders who are looking to advance their knowledge of AI. Uh, so I'll get into all of that in the Maven course as well. So there you go. Had fun experimenting. 
part of this course is designed to get you experimenting, to get you thinking about LLMs uh, and what they can do for you.